Hi there, Simon from simonwoods.com. Uh, wine today, Etoile de Mer from the Luberon in, um, it's just the bottom end of the road, it's where the road meets, um, meets Provence, um, near, uh, nestled in the root foot of Mont Ventoux. You'll notice that it's a little bit gone already, it's because I started filming and uh, batteries went on the camera. It's happened before, Simon, why am I not more prepared? Anyway, let's try. Blend of Syrah and Sanso. Now, what I said when I, when I, when I tried it before, um, uh, it, it starts off big and fleshy, and then a more subtle side comes out. Uh, and so, um, and, and particularly when you taste it. So the, 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 the aromas, they're, they're sort of quite big, exuberant. It's got the, um, uh, it's, yeah, the red fruit, the red berries, uh, the strawberries, the raspberries, uh, maybe a little bit of very ripe cherries in there. Uh, and it feels like behind it, there's something, um, something crisper, uh, not to do with apple, not to do with citrus, but uh, I'll leave you uh, guessing what it might be and I'll have a, have a taste and then tell you what I think it tastes of. Plum, um, and a little bit of rhubarb. Um, it, and it's those sort of plums that, if you cook with them, you usually have to add a little bit of sugar to, uh, uh, to uh, stop them being too tart. Here in this one, you've got the, uh, you don't, it's not got sweetness in there, I'm pretty sure it won't have any. Uh, any residual sugar, but you've got these richer, sweeter red fruits, the raspberry, the, um, the, the very ripe strawberry, and then the plum giving the crispness, but also extra bits of layers of flavour. Maybe there's something I miss. Uh, it, it is, it, 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 the, the, it's all fruit. I don't get too much uh, of the, um, I'd, I'd like a little bit more spiciness and sense of the, uh, uh, of, of the herbe de Provence coming through, but um, it's it, it maybe a bit of a crowd pleaser, but um, I think that quite a lot of crowds would be pleased by it. And uh, certainly if uh, somebody um, came to me and said, um, would you like another glass? I think I would say yes. See you soon.